players to watch, um, Eric Lamella. As a Spurs fan, I've got high hopes. I think he's going to produce this season after last year. Arsenal player that might have a breakout season. I'm hoping that we keep him, but I think Joel Campbell um, really could have a breakout season. You know, I'm really, really impressed by him. From a Manchester United perspective, I'm looking forward to seeing Adnan Yanuzai again this season. Um, I mean, he came in in a turbulent season for Manchester United and he had a fantastic one. He was one of our best players in the earlier part of the season. I'm interested to see how he gets on. For me, it's got to be Alexis Sanchez. Massive signing for Arsenal. I think just with the team that we're going to have with Ramsey and Ozil supporting him and then with Walcott back from injury, it's just going to be dangerous. The pace up front from those two is going to be phenomenal. As much as I hate to admit it, I think Cesc Fabregas will absolutely destroy the Premier League this season. The, the player at the biggest breakout season for me has to be Adam uh, Ramsey. And if he can, if he can stay fit, he's just mind blowing. What a mind blowing talent he is! I'd be the best centre midfielder in the country, as much as I'm loath to say it for playing the place for Arsenal. But if he can again, if he can have that start of the season form and, and, and spread that out throughout the whole of a campaign, then what a player! Definitely Sanchez of Arsenal. He will bring a new dimension to the sides. He's the key addition that Arsenal needs after Ozil last summer. Also Lamella. I think he's had a bit of a weird season last year settling in, but I think this year under Pochettino, he's the player to really look out for. But one more to throw in is Bojan of Stoke. From a neutral perspective, as hard as it is for me to say this, um, I've always been a fan of Coutinho, who's ended up at Liverpool. Um, but I do think he's starting to find his feet again. Um, and if he blossoms, um, he could be one of the, the best number 10 in the Premier League. Also looking forward to seeing Diego Costa for Chelsea. I think he's going to be a great sign of Chelsea, what they were missing last year, an actual proper striker. Raheem Sterling's going to be the number one player to watch. He's the best 19-year-old kid I've ever seen play. Um, I've watched Gerard play, I've seen Fowler play, I've seen Owen play at that time. And he's head and shoulders above what they did at that age. So that's why I think he's going to just really turn on this year. And I think there's no limit to what Raheem Sterling can do at the football club.